this film has a really huge message, I feel like, aside from the, the music. Uh, tell us a little bit more about why you decided to get involved in it. Well, mainly the music was my, my part of it, you know, and, and uh, the, the storyline changed and evolved as, as, uh, uh, over the years. Uh, it's because it's been a couple of years since I got involved with it. And uh, what's ended up happening is it's, it's reflected of uh, the, the, what's happening in society now. And uh, I think it, uh, the, end, the end story is better than what it even started out being. So it's, it's evolved, and I'm really proud to be a part of that message. Why did the writer and uh, everybody behind the film decide to cast you in this role? Did they tell you? Or? I have no idea. I guess I just they needed an, uh, an old uh, uh, country guy, you know. And, and I, like I said, I, I wrote some of the songs for a movie, and I, I'm, I got the, I've got a track record for doing that. So, But it was I'm glad it did. And uh, me and Diane met uh, in, in, in New York City and hit it off. And so I'm, I'm glad. However she got my name, I'm glad it, she got it. In the film, you're kind of a, a, an a mentoring kind of role to this young girl, correct? Uh, tell us more about that. I am kind of a mentor, a musical mentor, and uh, uh, but also I think I'm the uh, uh, I'm the everyday guy in Texas, you know, that kind of takes things for for uh, granted, but likes you know, kind of opens his own eyes. She opens his eyes as well. Yeah. What do you think people are going to take away from this film? Uh, compassion. That's it. I hope. Thank you.